DB344A partial. Wait. Uh, what? I'm curious about that saying partial and this being like... Oh! Oh. Oh, whoa. Whoa. That's, oh, this tells us how many we've oh. seen. Uh oh. We're missing a lot. <laughs> Why is there a yellow one? I think that's the one that's missing. Oh. What have I been missing? I think that's why it says partial. Oh. What if that's the one we need, though? Oh, fuck. Maybe that's how you beat the game, is you beat in the game when you get to see that one. Maybe. So you gotta do my... I don't know. We don't, a... we don't need to see all of them, though. We just need... The, this is just the ones we've seen so far, but, like, partial data could still give us what we want. Yeah, they, could, they could all be about more, like, fennel <laughs> or vegetables. Yeah. Like, if we just managed manage to hone in on the most important part, then I guess we're set. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as or long as we, it takes too long, we just come back another day. We could just. We just need to get the. It would just be hard to remember. <laughs> well, All right. I, that's so why I'm taking my wonderful notes yeah. that are not. Look, that's how I take notes, Keith. Is it just random words? Yeah. I didn't even use the lines, you guys. I just wrote all over this notebook, but I didn't even like write in the lines. Well, are you <laughs> are you looking at the notebook when you're writing in it? Yeah. Oh, you are. Yeah. That's weirder. No, oh, I'm I'm just weird. <laughs> I thought you were just looking at the screen and writing, which would make more sense if this you were using the lines. In school, people like I, anytime you had to take notes and show them to your teacher, I would always get like doctor points because I don't I write I do things like this. My oh. brain works. Yeah, that's. It's all over huh. the fucking place. I don't like show my work well. I don't show my work well at all. I, can I got docked points just because I would write so sloppily that no one else could read besides me, which eventually becomes a problem. I don't think your handwriting's bad. Well, yeah, because I got better. <laughs> I write like a doctor. I used to not give a fuck. I would write so fast, so it was just like a blur of text. Anyway, 30 seconds. Uh, when she went home, Sam had a birthday tea waiting. Afterwards, she told Sam about me. Told him I was pregnant. She wanted me to move in with them, this sister he didn't know she had. She knew that instant. The look on his face. She knew. I see in his face. Yep. I know it was no. Getting a glimpse of our faces again. So did it? Was that the? So that was that was the not wife. Yeah. Talking about. I think about I don't know how the it would... wife asking Sam to let the sister move in. Yeah, which which to, in, in all fairness is pretty fucking abrupt. <laughs> a sister you didn't know existed. Yeah. A pregnant one too. Yeah. No, that's a weird one. Yeah. Wait, which one was pregnant? She was pregnant? The sister's yeah. pregnant? Yeah. Wait, so the second baby is... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, shit. See, okay, so part of me wants to say I think they're the same person, but it wouldn't make sense because of the baby timeline that, that we established earlier. So we think that the person who drove off and was pregnant and so on... Was one of them. We think the one that... Well, of course it's one of them. <laughs> that's, that's the options. So, yeah, so, so, so I'm saying that we think that the sister that wasn't married to him was the one who went off with the... It had the car crash pregnancy. Yes. And, and the other... I like how I said that too, as if to imply the car crash made her pregnant. <laughs> she, fucked, she fucked that car. <laughs> How's insurance deal with that? <laughs> oh. You owe someone a lot of money. She sent him out the house, kicked him out, called me up, crying, and I went round. I guess I had a feeling I could hear something was wrong in her voice, but I wasn't sure what it was. She called me sister on the phone. She never calls me that. Are they wearing the same shirt? Yep. They're fucking the same person, dude. They're wearing the same fucking shirt. Well, no, I think that's the same per Well, yeah, the, the per person who just spoke was the same person who just spoke here. No. Were they supposed to be different people? Yeah. She sent him out the house, kicked him out. Oh wait, oh sorry. <laughs> you're right, Keith, you're great. You're no, right, I'm pretty right. sure this is the not married sister. Okay, okay, okay. So whenever we see her in... So, okay, okay. So I'm gonna write <clears throat> down the color of the shirt. Number Sister number one. Uh, I, I think this looks like a hospital gown. So Somebody I'm... else has this shirt too, though. But she's wearing, like, gray. She's wearing, like, a... Yeah. It's like a white, gray, button-up 
sort of thing. She's in interview room B. Okay. Because, yeah, we might need, like, a table when we, where we can tell which one's which to try to na nail it down so we can tell later who's saying it when we talk to them again without the context that makes it clear. My sister is gone. And she's never coming back. Um? Uh... That's in July 3rd. My sister is gone and she's never coming back. Um. Did she die? Mm, what the fuck? Keep an eye on that one. The fuck? That's. Mm, How do we tell who these people are? Well, the, okay, so the speeding. I don't know about the speeding ticket one, but the, um. Those two, those two are the are the one that found the body in the basement. So those, those two are the, both Hannah. So Hannah has the um the orange, uh the orange uh prison shirt. She wear the, so she has the orange and the blue blazers. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess that might be a shirt. Not a blazer. I don't know. It looks like a, I I wrote I wrote <laughs> prison outfit. <laughs> Sister. Let's do the thing that you joked about. Confession. Yeah, I was thinking. I'm like, I'm gonna look at the confession. <laughs> it's like because we're talking in the car. Like we took a lunch break and we're like, how do you how do you beat this game? It's like, what if you just type in confession? <laughs> one one result comes up. <laughs> it was it's the confession. I wonder, pretty funny. I really I know I know the different people probably, but I, I, I don't know, feel I think, good I, about it. Well, there are two sisters. I don't know, man. So it might be. Let's, let's look at the body ones. There's I another guess. guitar one. What if there's a giveaway that one of them's left handed and one of them's right handed? That'd be interesting. That would be interesting, but she was holding the guitar the same way. I remember. Well, I, th I think the guitar person's always the same person. I, I don't. I should write down. It'd be really the specific guitar. if they both learned how to how to play guitar. We should, after this, look up guitar. Yeah. <laughs> and see oh, if yeah. it tells you which one is the guitar one. Six entries found. So this is most of the entries about fighting a body. Or that say the word body. The bruise. I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you, but I haven't already told the other policemen. I found the body. I... Um... Um, um we gotta look up bruise then, too. It sounds to me, yeah, we need like a bruise, but it sounds to me like maybe Orange Lady is impersonating the other sister. Like she's not the sister we think she is. That bruise just comes and goes. Like it sounds like she's supposed to have a bruise and she fucked up and forgot because she's impersonating her sister in that interview. Yeah, you know what? Uh, it does seem like. That's the kind of detail you don't just throw away. Yeah, but that's going to be so difficult. <laughs> yeah. I think this is going to be why the uh, there's the thing that I heard about, like, the suggestion of, like, you know, it being kind of open to interpretation. You have to come with your own conclusion of what you think happened and stuff. That's how it might be full of so many details and people latch on to different things. I don't know. It's curious. This is really engaging. That's a good word for it. His body. I did not real. And his throat. It looked like his throat had been cut. And I didn't see his glasses. As his thick glasses. I just thought of something. The 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 Hannah should always have a wedding ring on. She sh yeah, you noticed that she was fiddling with her yeah. ring in that scene. Yeah. So from now on, when we see her hand, <clears throat> keep it on her. Except, how well can you see your hand most of the time in this quality? I got good eyeballs. You got good eyeballs. I got good eyeballs. So also, there's a knife, but and glasses. I don't know how much those will ever get mentioned, but they're emphasized. Yeah. Okay. His so his throat was cut. 
and he has thick glasses, but they weren't there. <clears throat> okay. So that's a thing. So I'm adding, I'm, I'm making us a little list of things we gotta look up. Three at. Yeah, we need to worry about the wedding ring now. Did she have the ring back here? Yep. Interesting. That might that might be the key to telling which one's which whole game. I think that because yeah. one of them's married. So look at the, if you look at the guitar one next, we'll know. She's got a ring on. Really? Yeah, she does. He's the best. Oh. Oh. The oh. <laughs> <laughs> Weird to give everyone this whole synopsis. I wonder if they inserted that so that you would, uh... You would think? If you type the word evidence, that comes up. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> every word she said comes up as a search result. That's the thing. So it's like, uh, we're going to see that guitar a lot over the course of this game because there's so many words in that. Well, a lot of them I don't think will come up. I'm not going to type in, like, fiddle. <laughs> yeah, but there's, but there's body, and there's rain, and there's evidence, and there's, like... Specific body like parts and like either. breast, like breastbone, whatnot, fingers. I don't know. It's like open to like come up, you come up a lot potentially. That's funny though. There's a part two. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you had a wedding ring there. We're also missing one body result because you can only see the first five because this is a nonsense search engine. We should point out that like, it's it's silly to it's silly to dwell on too much, but like, the core conceit of this game makes no sense in universe, because like, why would you chop up the evidence so much that none of it's documented? And you can't tell what anything is, and you can only to the point where like you literally don't have the option just to watch these interviews from front to back like a person <laughs> would, and also you, uh, it's not even labeled who they were interviewing. Yeah. So like, who the fuck? Like anyone who anyone who, yeah, like anyone who watches this would probably come to the conclusion there's two people in these interviews, but you can't. They they didn't just label them. <laughs> yeah, someone was uh, not doing their job very but, good. Like I could, I could understand there being like an interview where one of them impersonates the other one, but they seem to know they're interviewing two different people and they don't tell us that, which is a mess. Who are it's these weird. police? Yeah, but then we then there'd be a lot less video game. Can you imagine? Uh, I tried. I tried to get pregnant too, but it didn't happen. Oh, did she fuck his turban? As it was so many oh. boys. Men. My body refused. I think my period stopped because hers had. What? I was pretty ill. I mean, how could we stay the same now? I felt like Hannah had really fucked things up. Set us down separate paths. You know, no ring. become different. Yeah, she's also really cold. 
Yeah, she's, she says the weird things about how they're like bond. Yeah, they want to be the same. Yeah. Period. <laughs> <laughs> My period stopped because hers had. Okay, she's really obsessed in them syncing up. There, there is some truth to that. <laughs> period. <laughs> There's Whoa. three messages. Of, yeah, maybe she just says period. Yeah, I, know, it is I her, didn't though. kill him. Period. <clears throat> if one of us got hurt, the other one would have to be hurt too. A grazed knee, a bruise. When I lost my tooth first, we had to pull our hands to match. What the fuck? Yeah, who? Your parents? Once, or? I slept with a boy who was seeing another girl. The girlfriend came up to Hannah the next day and punched her in the face, gave her a huge black eye. That night, she had to do the same to me. She almost went too far. I couldn't see out of that eye for days. She snuck a frozen piece up for me from the kitchen. Mm. So much of our bodies were synchronized anyway. We started our period on the same day. All our childhood diseases, stomach bugs, nits. Nits. Why can't we escape twin games? Yeah, that is tricky. Like, I've already Maybe. been pointing this out like two games ago, but we keep finding more weird magical twin games. Like, there's a lot of twin twinsticism going on <laughs> with these magical twin bonds. Fucking sword and shield culminated in like ultra twins that were like nightmare Everywhere. brothers, were, like the sword yeah. and shield hair, and like the amount of and then the twins in Death Stranding and the twins and other thing. Like there's so many elements of like that that won't stop happening. Yeah, that is a weird. It's also like comes up a lot in no, real life. Like but it's it not won't like stop coming up this year. It's you know it's so odd. I think it was that time, the first time, at the house. In his bed, that I got pregnant. Amazing, right? This fucking magic spell. And they say lightning doesn't strike twice. I knew it. Did she fuck Sam? She, uh. I didn't tell him. Yes. I missed three periods. I had pretty irregular periods anyway, but three? I had always thought we were infertile. Both of us. I didn't tell him. It's waited. So Hannah and I were meeting for our birthday and I told her because I thought she would be happy for us both. You slept with her husband. I think she was. <laughs> well, maybe she didn't tell her that part. Maybe she just told her the I'm pregnant part. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so we're obviously in a police station. Yeah, that was probably a, a kind of innocuous siren, huh? Yeah, but it's, That's just, it's yeah. spooked me, though. Yeah, it, makes you, it makes you think something's about to happen, but it's just like the sirens kind of going on because this is a place where that happens. Okay. I kind of dig this existing. What? It keeps moving. <laughs> what does the yellow one mean, then? That's weird. Huh. But also, I can't make it the background. I can't. It's like... I'd almost want to put this on the screen somewhere. Like, part of me wants to make like the perfect layout where everything's in frame. <laughs> Can't always get so what periods you want. kept coming up and on. So we Shit. can do uh, bruise. Want to look at that yeah. bruise? Bruise. This weird equality. They, oh, exactly five. This weird equality thing where like if one of them got a black eye, they had to punch the other one to make it happen too. I'm Why? trying to figure out who whose decision was that. Was that them? I don't know. Bruce. Ring. Oh, yeah, no, it's nothing. I was going through the top cupboard in my kitchen and the chair slipped and I kind of hit the door with my face. <laughs> Damn. It really hurt like hell. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's the most face we've gotten so far. It's always when you look away. <laughs> Damn it. I was which, writing which in my notebook. You looking away is like the end of every clip because of writing, yeah. So that's the one where she's supposed to have a bruise, and then the next meeting they're like, I don't know. She have definitely a does. Yeah. The bruise. Thank you. I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. How uh, how soon is it? She has the ring. 
It's literally... It's two days later. Oh, help. Fluff. Liar. Yeah, it's only two days later. That seems iffy. It does. 25th and 27th. So, red... So, this is this is the, the, the orange? The prison okay. outfit. So, yeah, the prison outfit is the evil sister, if we want to call her that, impersonating the married sister. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Right, and that uh, means that blue short <laughs> diner waitress sister is, is the married I, sister. I put on blue mom outfit. Blue mom outfit. She looks like she's going to take her kids to soccer. Yeah, I'm not a fan. It's a minute. That's a good difference. Like... She's a better driver than me. Oh. She passed the test for us. I tried to take it and nearly crashed the car. <laughs> Learned that you can't rely on confidence to get you through everything. Mm. She is the shy one. She was especially shy around boys. If Hannah liked a boy, I would have to pursue her. It was that way with Carl. Hannah met him first. She had such a crush. I let him take my virginity after a night that his band had played at. It got difficult. When I was with Carl, we would have sex, but Hannah couldn't. Couldn't let him see she was a virgin. She had lots of excuses. After a while, we decided that I should take Hannah's virginity. No. It wasn't that different to a bruise, putting a tooth, a graze. We used a hairbrush. After that, we took it in turns, though. I was always the one who seduced the boys. Until Simon. Mm. Yeah, that's a little... Um... <laughs> I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. So there's a show on, I think, Netflix or something. I don't know if it's by Netflix, but I think it's called uh, What Happened on Monday. You ever got that suggested to you? No. It's what like, what it? happened last Monday or whatever. And it's a show about a whole bunch of people that are all pretending to be the same person and they rotate. And so they have to be able to know and like fill in the gaps and stuff because they're all, they're all like identical. I don't remember. I don't know if it's just two twins or if it's a bunch of people. There's also like a a BBC show that airs around the time that that uh, like Doctor Who does or something. That's called. That's also like a. I can't remember what's called right now, but it's also like a multiple identical people that like kind of interchange with each other. So I don't know why it's happening, but these two people have decided to go through life pretending to be the same person. That's why they have to have the same bruises and stuff like that. That's why they have this bizarre synchronicity where if one of them has a bruise, they have to punch the other one to give them the bruise because they switch places with each other and pretend and they both pretend to be the same person. I don't think they're two I don't think they're publicly twins. Oh, I, I see. think they're publicly one identity and they take turns essentially okay. and they fool people. And that's what that's what they mean when they say that like I I would I would uh like, I, I would uh, seduce the boys, but then she would go with them and stuff like that. It's because they're supposed to be the same person. So the boys don't know that they're switching out. Yeah. And that's why it was a problem that one of them was a virgin, the other one wasn't. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that. Which is like, boom. And that's and then Simon was the first person that, uh, we'll call her the good sister, fell in love with. And that's why it became like a full thing and, and it fucked up their relationship and fucked up like their synchronicity. It's because yeah, their system all went out of whack. Yeah, because Hannah got pregnant. Yeah. And so the, this other one, whose name has never come up yet, had to get pregnant, too. Yeah. <clears throat> That's why they keep talking about synchronicity and so on. I don't, so actually, I don't know if the interviews know, interviewers... No, I guess the, no, no, based no, on no, these no, conversations, no. Yeah, they, know. I, they must they know. know. Yeah. They, they have to. But yeah, that's why things are so weird, though. That's that's why they have so many weird synchronicity comments that we're reading that don't make sense. It's because they're trying to pretend to be the same person. At have, least growing have you up. ever? Uh, Do you ever watch um, Big Brother? No. So big, the reality show. Yeah, I love. Back in the day, I loved Big Brother, but one of, it was a wacky ass show. I've only ever seen like parodies of it. One of like the Chappelle uh, and I think Black Mirror at some point. I don't remember. Well, I don't think. So. 
So, but but one of the um one of the seasons, one of the twists of the season was that there were two twins who were literally doing this in the house, but they only had like 30 seconds every day to tell each other what had happened the entire day. Mm-hmm. So there was like the special secret room in the wall where w- they would like switch out. <laughs> and they had to be like, "Okay, so this is what happened. You have an alliance with this person. Uh this person's mad at you. You like this this this." And then they had to go out and pretend like they know without and so they, they kept getting caught in like weird situations where they're like, um, I don't remember what I ate for breakfast this morning. Like, because people were like, it just started talking because yeah. you're just stuck in a household. And day. The, the whole point is like, I think if they won, they'd where'd win the, where'd they double go? the money. Where'd they go all day? I don't know, but that show was wacky because, like, that's yeah. People, one time, one Reality guy, show, TV's general is just someone odd. tried to climb over the wall. Um, and then one time some guy quit because they wouldn't give him new underwear. <laughs> it was just, it's, it's they amazing. Won't give me underwear. It's an amazing show. Sorry, I, I just wanted to, I just thought about that. Why would they give him underwear? He, he just had a meltdown because they don't have like any TV or any, they don't have any access to the outside world. But like, just give the dude underwear, weird assholes. One time someone bought, like a person who wasn't on the show bought an airplane with a banner on it to warn one of the people in the complexes that someone was going to turn against them. And so they actually had an airplane flying over with a banner, like by the window. Well, out, ab- above their like, above so their complex. Would notice it. So they had to like I forgot what, what what the team on the show had to do. They had to like tell everyone to go inside or whatever. They had to like fucking cover that shit up. That's really funny. Yeah. Because they knew where it was. Because it's, it's it's live. You can watch it twenty four hours a day if you wanted to. Whoa. There are TV channels That's where you lot. can watch them sleep. I used to know people who would do that so they could fall asleep easier. Jesus. Yeah, it's crazy. So I, I, I never knew that. Big Brother had like a live feed. It does. It does. I don't know if the show how that show's doing now. I haven't seen it in like I mean, fucking if, eight I mean, years. if it's sufficiently enough of a live feed, it might actually be a leg- like a more legitimate reality show. Because whenever I hear about reality shows, I hear about how they're like massively edited down and they're like basically coached on what to do. No, this is this to, is a you're good. You're told to behave this is a, certain ways. A good one. Um, there was like one season where a bunch of people were, were they were like related to each other, but they had to pretend like they weren't. <laughs> um. Or, or I think they all knew that somebody was related to somebody else in the house, and they had to try to guess. But the, the other people had to try to keep a secret. Hmm. Um, they feed them all slop, so they don't get they don't slop. get like slop. Yeah, they, they get like gross food. Um, they don't have like TV or anything. They just like, <laughs> and then what, they, they like punish them by like playing bad music. They put like polka music really loud one time to punish them. It's all. like a weird torture show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's awesome. Jesus. <laughs> so I got all excited. Yeah, um, uh, no, my the only reality, t- <laughs> the only thing that can be even kind of called reality TV that I've ever watched was a, uh, and I don't even know if any of these count necessarily. They're iffy. One of the, at least one of them counts. Uh, Kitchen Nightmares, Survivor, and Fear Factor. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd say that's all reality. They're a little iffy. Fear Factor, Fear Factor is kind of a kind yeah, of a, a, game a, a game show, and. Survivor rides the line of being a game show that's also a uh, also a, a reality TV show. Rest Kitchen Nightmares is like a re- reality TV and or documentary series, even though it's maybe fake. I don't know. I don't. I I, I like to. I hope I, just, I can trust Gordon Ramsay because I, just, I love him too much. I, I just saw the episode with the lunatic person in it, like the one lady that was completely oh. on a hinge and thought she could speak to cats and stuff. And yeah, was that like, was a fun one. Yeah, that and that there was a one. sequel to it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, we went on tangent. This was nine that night. I went round and she was waiting for me. She was furious and so angry. The kind of anger you could only have toward yourself. We screamed at each other, argued, cried, we fought. I hit her back, left a bruise. I had my wig on from performing, she tore it off. Eventually, we grew tired of fighting and I left. The kind of angry you could only have at yourself because of the same person. Oh my gosh. Because they roleplay as one as one person. We could look up like fight or like the performer. I'm trying to think performing? Like how? How was she performing? Is is she, the fight the she, bruise that oh no, they said nine that they were nine. She might be a stage play performer or a, a stripper. Or something. Like she was <laughs> doing a thing. Stripper type, type, type. <laughs> type, type, type. Uh, question is, are they two separate people pretending to be one person 
Or are they one person with a dissociative identity disorder that thinks that there's two well, people? That's what I've been saying this whole time. Is that that's what I keep thinking? And she was rubbing her finger the whole time, where the ring would be, which makes me feel like she usually wears a ring or something. I don't know. But the thing is, is that timeline doesn't work out with the baby thing. That's that, that's the one reason I can't. I would totally believe that they were the same person. But which, that fucking which, baby thing. What is the baby mess up? We already figured out there has to be two babies. Yeah. But one of them so. predates the whole timeline. Because one of them, one of them was. Oh yeah, because they're supposed because they're pregnant at like the same time. Not necessarily the same per. No, right? I, I think it was. I think they're both Hannah's babies. That Hannah had a miscarriage. Well. And then she, she... had. A, then she was pregnant. Oh, okay. Well, wait. Let's just well, say. Let's try to verify once now that we have the, the two baby, th no, the no, two person thing. No, she, the, who was the person that was? She said there's that a lot of, there's a lot of baby messages. She had to introduce her sister to her husband when her sister was pregnant. So it must not be at the same time. But it, oh, because one of them lost the baby and the other one still had it. The person who said they bought, found the body in the basement is the same person we think is impersonating her. I'm not sure if I'm convinced of that. Yeah. There's actually a lot of baby messages. We should probably just see the ones that shows up, even though they're not the ones we're looking for necessarily. Just anything that has an eye, I should probably click on. Yeah. Before we lose track of it. We spent the wedding night in a hotel in Brighton. It would have been too much to do more. We were saving for the baby. It was wonderful to be in a hotel, away from home, just alone together. Since then, we've always tried to get away for our holiday. Oh, you know what I just realized? Sounds like she had her first pregnancy already when they were getting married. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you realize? Yeah, I'm thinking. Um, I just realized when, so the other one, when that bruise came up with the orange girl, um, you must, I think you're right about that impersonation thing after all, because she touched the wrong side of her face. Did she? When they asked her about the bruise, she touched... Oh. She touched She's, the left right. side for us, but her bruise right now is on the right side for us. Yeah, stage right. Uh, yeah. How do I remove? I didn't mean to add this one, goddammit. This shouldn't be so hard. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I don't like this feature, because <laughs> you can't get rid of stuff. Well, can you choose another one and then replace it? Maybe. We couldn't afford our own place. Simon dropped out of school, went full-time at the Glaciers. That was Eric's generosity. Damn. We moved in with his mom and dad. They had a spare room for us and the baby, if it came. It was a nice change, time to myself, living there for those months, full of hope. So, diner, diner waitress Blue is mom. bruised lady. Like a legit bruise. Yeah. So we can we can reliably at least tell that she's not a liar, or, or that she's not the replaced one. I mean, what did the beginning say again? We couldn't afford our own place. Oh, that's all. That's the only reason. Okay. 